Have you ever wondered why? When? How much? What if? Well, you're in luck, because you're listening to the Hypotheticast. Three best buds. On a mission. To ask all the questions. And get all the answers. I don't care what your preacher says. I got my own vicious ways. Only got one commandment and it goes. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. Hello. Hey. Hey. Welcome yeah. to the Hypotheticast. Thank you. Thanks, Emily. It's been a while since I've been on it. it has. Yeah, I might. How are you're you doing? Back. I'm back from my journeys <laughs> across the face of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Did you listen to the episodes that we did? No, not you? yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well. I wanted to. I wanted to St- make sure it was pure that I had no contact no with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure, yeah. Well, yeah, we did give you a shout out in one of them. Yeah. Oh, we that's do. nice. We, you we, we, we may have exaggerated <laughs> where you went and whether it was to space. We also okay. gave you okay. some constructive criticism. Yeah, there's a lot of feedback. Oh, just about, about myself? Just your general yeah. life. It doesn't have anything wow. to do with the show. Just like, maybe hey, I just won't listen to him then. <laughs> <laughs> we did a whole episode uh, just like, let's fix Mike. <laughs> that's what it was called. I it was really cool. I did my own solo podcast on yeah. the road actually it's called yeah. what's wrong with david and Emily. yeah it's a real-time <laughs> recording of my road trip oh that sounds good wow. it's just me eating food and oh, stuff no. in the car <laughs> oh what a sleuth is that the crinkle of a hmm, like a sun chips bag or maybe a subway napkin yeah it's a fun hard to game. say a lot of like g- familiarity with gas stations yeah. on the trip you Along learn the, the different trip. the different vibes of them different vibes what's your favorite gas station uh, vibe sheets Sheets, sheets is great. Yeah. Okay. I had only heard about Sheets uh, from other podcasts, mostly the McElroys. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, they guys. love it. They love it. And uh, it is like the ultimate in convenience store gas station is shopping. It fancy? No. Okay. But it, it just has extensive <laughs> no. options. Like there's lots and lots of stuff, and they make stuff sure. fresh for you there. Like there's oh, a, like there's just stuff. there's like a line of screens, and oh. then you just type in what you want, and then mm. they call your name and you oh. get your food. Oh, sheets. And they just have like pizza, tacos, sandwiches, like. A lot of food, and it's all just oh, in the size of a gas station. So wait, the food is no, no. It's all made. In, it's not like it's not like the footprint of the building is is like a gas station size. I see, so I it's, see. They just it's pack not like it in this there. is a restaurant. It's wow. like this is a gas station, but you Sheets. can also get freshly made food. Amazing. All kinds of. They have an exclusive Mountain Dew flavor, uh, goji berry strawberry, which I think was originally from Japan. What? Now exclusive to Sheets. Dang. <laughs> yep. I feel like if I were Mister Sheets. I'd be pretty proud. Yeah. Is it? That's I'm picturing awesome. it as S H E E T Z. Yep. Yes. Pretty sure that's that what is it exactly is. how it's nice. spelled. Gotta have that Z in there. Would yeah. You, would you live there? In a sheets? Yeah. Uh, f- I would sleep there for a night. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. David, favorite gas station? Uh, I really like the ones that have the bathroom on the outside where you have to go in <laughs> and oh say, God. I'm a shameful bad baby and I need to poop. And they're like, okay, here's your punishment. Here's- and they give you a dirty key attached to like half an action figure. And you have to go outside with that chain key and unlock the thing. And it's probably like already unlocked and there's someone in there like doing six drugs and pooping at the same time. And you're like, hey, what's up? I just need to... Hey, and those are my favorite I feel like it's always like walking into like an active crime yeah, scene like I'm like not a supposed to be fresh here. murder also, scene yeah. like I can't touch anything so that it can't be traced like that I was here um, and also I don't want to disturb the evidence yeah. like it's love that and it's also their like utility closet like yep. there's a mop yeah. bucket yeah. and a toilet and, and like you could oh, just use totally. either one and a janitor just sweeping up <laughs> yeah that's my favorite vibe i think is feel Good. it's funny that i'd so much i feel so much more comfortable going in any outhouse than i do into the outside bathrooms in midwestern gas stations that might be true for me like, too i really do i'm like just put me in an outhouse at least i know what's coming put you in an outhouse put me in one <laughs> emily fave gas station you know my i feel like i spent a lot of time in in iowa gas stations because i drove to and from my college in iowa yeah i love a good come and go i mm-hmm. know the name Casey's. is very lol but i did a come and go commercial at a brand new come and go in you iowa did. and it was so 
fancy. It was so beautiful. And I don't know if it was nice. just because it was a gas station that hadn't officially opened yet. Probably. So it wasn't like tainted by humanity. Yeah. No one had touched it. But anything. it was still really beautiful. And then. Can I ask you what you did? I, I feel like I remember you doing that commercial, but what was the commercial? Can you describe it briefly? Yes, I can. Um, I was the cashier. Yeah. A man walked into the gas station wearing like a business suit on top and then just boxer shorts on the bottom. Okay. And Classic. he was very and like shot him. <laughs> bleary eyed and sleepy. Okay. And I don't remember what the dialogue was specifically, but I think he was like, needed the coffee or something. And I was like, <laughs> it's right over there, sir. Something like that. Then he left. <laughs> so so you, I, it was like, he came and went. yeah. And it was like <laughs> was me it. being like, like my reaction was supposed to be like bemused. Like I wasn't okay. supposed to be like grossed out. Like mm. I would actually be if some, if a man in his underwear came up to me, but, um, yeah, yeah. They put me on a box because I'm short and okay. my mother-in-law, mm. yep. whenever she saw it on her TV, because she lives in Iowa, she would be like, she's well, first she asked me, like, she was like, I have to ask, are you standing on something? Mm -hmm. Because you're not that tall. And I was like, <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, you. You cracked it. Do you get free come and go for life now? No. No. Oh, okay. Horrible. I should have I pushed for that. Or yeah. at least some come and go merch. Bargain. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, seriously. They've you didn't like get very anything? much leaned into, I mean, I got money. Oh, money. <laughs> that money, which yeah. could be used That's to nice. buy things from coming I guess, yeah. They've leaned into the like joke of their name. They have yeah. like full oh, really? like oh, no. sweatshirts, hats, keychains, Just with lighters. Just like stains on them. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's always less fun. It's more fun when you're like, do they know? Yeah. Like, That's But true. when they're like, ha ha. Uh, we'll like, jizz in your car. It's like, stop, <laughs> stop. Don't. You can't. Get, get back inside, Mr. Cum. You can't. <laughs> no. That's their mascot. Now. Okay, I'm going to turn this corner right now. We're okay. going to leave that behind yeah, and we're going right. we to play a game that is uh, that I kind of made up. Mm. It's a game we've played before. Collaboratory. This is the version where we invent stuff. So that's mm -hmm. fun. But first I need to do some, uh, some brainstorming, some list making from oh, yeah. our brains. And then after I do that, I will, I will explain to you guys what the situation is. Okay. The situation. What's the oh, situation? I'm excited. So, what have we um, found ourselves in? first thing off the top of your head, I need some Special ingredients. Ooh. Floss. Pizza. Raisins. Dinosaur bones. Lucky Charms marshmallows. Lucky Charms, the part that's not the marshmallow. Uh, fairy dust. J.R.R. Tolkien's old pipe tobacco. Okay, now I need some uh, spokespeople, which could be celebrities. They could be characters, cartoons, animals. All of the above. Celebrity, cartoon, character, animals. <laughs> yeah. The whale from Free Willy. Barney the dinosaur. The kid from Free Willy. The fish tank from Free Willy. <laughs> <laughs> that wall of rocks that Free Willy jumps over in Free Willy too. Uh, he does it in the first one. Yeah, the oh, first one. He probably does it Bo in the second yeah, one too, jumps, but it's off screen. Yeah, he jumps he in practices. every one of them. He jumps um, so much. He's so free. The WB frog. Mm, yeah, that's good. Uh, the smacks frog. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We're going to the same thing. Uh... Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to do do a normal... George Bush. Which one? Uh, senior. <laughs> okay. H.W. H.W. Yeah, right. H.W., Emily. <laughs> Patricia Arquette. The winking little swordfish guy on the outside of tuna cans. He's probably a tuna, huh? <laughs> Charlie the tuna. That's his name. Yeah. That Charlie mascot the is tuna. cute. Uh, okay, we're good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then uh, I need some seasons or events or occasions okay creating a will <laughs> yeah that's good wait, wait wait the reading of a will yeah the reading the of a will that's a better that's awesome. occasion <laughs> gender reveal party those suck gender <laughs> conceal party <laughs> gander reveal party <laughs> okay um, arbor day flag day boxing day mm, first time you broke a bone christmas in july 100th wedding anniversary. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Do you think? I know. I don't want to know if anyone's ever had that. <laughs> I guess it, pro it probably like, means they got married too young like and a child also bride, yeah. somehow lived forever. Like the oldest That's people are like unlikely. 100 and like 15. Yeah. I, I bet like. no one's ever had a 100 years. There's no way. All right, guys. 
All Here's right. the deal. What's the deal? You are, you've been uh, commissioned yeah. by a company, either a fast food company mm. or like junk food company. Oh, sure, sure, sure. To create a novelty limited release food yes. item. Good. Much like the Lady Gaga Oreos. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Weird <laughs> Things that McDonald's does. Yeah, um, the, uh, Mountain Dew that had Master Chief from Halo on it that was called yes, Gamer Fuel. Yes, <laughs> that's, exactly. that's sort of fun, that cool sort thing of everyone thing. loves. Novelty fast food, which I've been getting very into via several Instagram oh. accounts that I follow. Yeah, that's what's happening. We need your brains. And uh, who wants to go first? I don't know. Me. David. Uh, David, give me a number between one and five. Six. No, four. <laughs> Pass the first test, but just barely. All right. Oof, this is uh, chaotic. Okay. So. Seems nice. You get to pick what the what the company is. So you have to think about oh, that. Oh, Frito-Lay. Love them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but they have, uh, they've, they've lucked into a large quantity of dino bones. Oh, my God. No, damn it. And they would like to make use of their, uh, their agreement with the, the WB frog character. <laughs> oh, no. And Flag Day's coming up, so. Flag Day's coming up! Oh, geez. So, oh, what, wow. are, what are you going to do? What and are you going to figure out? And what we need to do, as whatever company we are, is make a... <laughs> a novelty food item. A novelty item. food item with our excess, our abundance of dinosaur bones. Yep. That features or is promoted by... Just promoted by. WB so, it doesn't need to frog. heavily feature the spokesperson, uh-huh. but just if that helps you come up with like a cute slogan yeah. or a commercial idea, yeah. some way that it's promoted. That's pretty good. Wait, what company, what food company is... He gets to pick. So, it I could be, it pick. could be, okay. um, you know... E.L. Fudge. It could be Wendy's. <laughs> is that a company? I don't know. I think E.L. Sure. Fudge is the name of the cookie. That's the name of the actual no, cookie. I thought that was like the name of the I'm guy. I'm sure it's Toll House. Who cares? It okay. doesn't really matter. Nabisco. I mean, no, no, matter what, no matter what, it's three of them. So like we actually have to pick a brand to make it more fun. Like Pepsi. And I can just do anything. Yeah. <laughs> like that sucks. So here's what, here's what it's going to be. It's going to be. Do you remember Dinosaur Eggs Oatmeal? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So like the idea was that they had little dinosaurs that would transform as they heated up. And do you know about Mentos in Coca-Cola? Yes. Or Diet Coke, I think. Specifically. Yeah. Diet Coke's like the big one. You put it in there Explode and then it has a reaction yeah. within the pop. So I think what's going to happen is that this is going to be a soda mm-hmm. and it's going to be red. Oh my mm. gosh. And then... When you put in a specially treated dinosaur bone, which is the most patriotic thing of all, uh, <laughs> digging something up out of the ground and putting it in a museum is very American. Yes. And dinosaur bones are at least adjacent to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you put it in there and that's the white part of it. It's, you got red, you got white, and then you put that in and it has a reaction. And as it bubbles up and fizzes, it changes into blue. Whoa. And then you feel very patriotic and inspired. Mm-hmm. And then you have to drink that pop right away because like you just opened it and made it bubble over. Mm-hmm. But it's a fun event for Flag Day to do. Yeah. And the, the ad campaign is the frog, who's not Michigan... J- like what's what's his name? I think Michigan J Frog is That's that him? frog. Okay, so the oh. WB Frog is also Michigan J Frog, which is an amazing name for yeah. a cartoon character. Yeah. Like incredible, absolutely uh-huh. incredible. I think it's him drinking that and then like puffing up to be huge because like frogs can get really big in their mouths and their throats, mm. and then he burps and yeah. a, and a flag comes out or fireworks. Fireworks come out. That's what it is. I think that's pretty... I don't know what it's called. That's what I was just going to ask. That was my main question. It's fizzy Um, American soda. With dino bones. Pop goes the country. Um, Wait, what about like, is there something you could do with like fossil and fizzy? Oh, yeah, like, fo- it's fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Honestly, no, that that's incredible. Very... Naming something that is patriotic. Fossil It's fuel. like an energy drink <laughs> called <Ew>. fossil fuel. <laughs> oh, that's so. No, that's incredible. That is 100% what it's yeah. called. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. <laughs> wow. I think they're going to be really, uh, really pleased with this. Good what? job. David. What is it? What does the red part taste like? What does it taste like? The red yeah, slash blue. It just tastes like gasoline. <laughs> yeah, it's like four loco. 
Oh. Yeah, it's for loco. Also, that's it's, the, the yeah, other secret. That's, that's who that, you're actually yeah. working with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, we need some help. And so the best way, of course, is to get mixed up with frogs, dinosaur bones, and America. Yeah. I think that'll revive them. Totally. Fossil fuel. Oh my gosh. I love it. I think the frog has to drive a Hummer in the commercial then too. Um, yeah, he like oh, drinks yeah. some and puts some hummer, in the Hummer. Yeah, a yeah, hummer yeah, limo. Yeah. Ooh, a Hummer limo where everyone else in the back is partying and having a good time yep. with their flags. Yep. And they're also frogs. Yeah, sure. But different frogs. Different frogs. From like Frog and Toad are there. Different famous <laughs> frogs. Yeah. For some reason, that's <laughs> something they want to go with. Toads. Yeah, the Budweiser Toads are there. Uh, what are some other famous frogs? Those are the big uh, two. There's the, the frog. Smacks pr- frog. Princess Smacks and the Frog. frog. Prince, the Frog from Princess and the Frog. Oh, there's uh, got to be at least... Like two more. There was like a Kermit. More. Kermit, shit. Oh God, we can think of Kermit. One. Man, people would have been pissed. I know. There was like Kermit. a frog on Ninja Turtles, I feel like. Yeah, that's Wasn't there like right. a frog Oh, friend? what about Kermit's little son? Kermit's little son. Tiny Tim. Robin? <laughs> that's what I was thinking of, Tiny Tim. Robin, I think it's his nephew. Oh, no, Tiny yeah, Tim Yeah, I think Robin is like a relative. <laughs> yeah. I want it to son. be the frog version of Tiny Tim I mean, from I think he maybe Carol. plays Tiny Tim He does, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I think that one is there too. And everyone's like... Why is this kid here? We're having a party in a limo. <laughs> and he's like, soda. God bless us, America. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> America loves right. frogs. Good job, David. <laughs> we sure do. Uh, Thanks, Emily. You too. Mike, could I have a number between one and five? One. Ooh. I think you're going to regret this. I'm going to regret wow. this. Wow. I regret nothing. Punishment time. She's just making random scribbles on her. She could really tell us anything and we wouldn't I know. even yeah, know. That's the thing. <laughs> You are working with an unnamed food company. They want to create a novelty food item using floss. Nice. Okay, why did I say that? Well, that's did exactly you say that? why. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, they are working with the Free Willy Whale. Yeah. Yes. And they're trying to think of something that could be a tie in for. Uh, the reading of a will. Oh, hell yeah. You did all of this to yourself. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> it's good, actually. I'm ready. I think these are going to be uh, fish sticks. Fish sticks <laughs> that like... Uh, Nothing better than an animal selling itself. That, I, I love that, it when that happens. That floss your teeth for you. Oh. Um, uh, with the bones? Uh, what? The floss is in the fish stick. No. That's the that's the that's what's on the box. It says the floss, the floss. is in the fish stick. <laughs> <laughs> and then, are you sick of eating fish sticks and then having to floss yeah. afterwards? We got uh, you. Is it just like arbitrarily in it? Or is it like wrapped around it, it? Or is it it's like one it. strand through it? it? Okay, so here's what here, here yeah, it's it's like one strand through the fish stick. So okay. it's like at the factory they just kind of string uh, yep. fish sticks along yeah. the floss like and they just cut them off. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what's happening. Here's what's happening with this. Let's see I think what's a really like I think this is a really bizarre PR move by SeaWorld. Um oh, God. and SeaWorld <laughs> is trying to like um they're trying to figure out a way to distract people from the wrong things they do to fish yeah. and uh, whales. <laughs> and I th- I think <laughs> I think and so I think what they do is they're like we're going to we're going to make uh, we want to re- launch a brand of frozen frozen uh, seafood. Like they're doing a yeah. line of like fish based products. Okay. Um, mm. And really, yeah, like, seafood. I mean, look, I'm just Seems the brain. Right. I'm just a brain store idea guy. <laughs> but like, they asked me to do this, so yeah. like, they're like, they're gonna launch this. And specifically, the event they're choosing to launch it at is like the reading of a whale of someone that was eaten by a whale there. And they're like, and they're like, we're going to uh-huh. give you a lifetime supply nice. of floss sticks. Nice. And you can also, God. right now, we're going to show you that they're safe by feeding them to Keiko, the whale from no. Free Willy, so it will floss <laughs> its many killer teeth. Because because if you eat them, they just automatically floss yeah. your teeth. Yeah, that's how it and works. And you don't just swallow the yeah, floss. Yeah, you, you eat them and the floss is your teeth while you eat them. That's amazing. And it amazing. works for people and it works for whales. Oh, that's so cool. It works for anything wow. with teeth that As wants to eat, eat a fish that's stick. That's amazing. Um, and so... <laughs> anything with teeth like, that it's tied wants to, to eat a fish I think that they're, they're tied to this um, PR move again I'm not yeah. saying it's a good PR move but it's an <laughs> no. a PR move where they're like they're like look we're really sorry this that that our whale ate you because we mistreated the whale but here's some free so we fish ground sticks. up some other fish yeah, we <laughs> these from our as revenge I mean, killer whales eat fish 
Yeah, yeah, they would, would eat. That's it. why they would yeah. eat the fish sticks, yeah. and then you could. And they also have teeth that need flossing teeth. too. Sure. Are they tying in the fact that uh, dental hygiene uh, contributes to overall mm. health? Mm. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Are they also tying yeah. in the fact that uh, that Free Willy's name contains within it the word will? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Free Willy's reading the will. Yeah. Exactly. yeah Free Willy's going to read the will. That's why his name is Willy. He's very obsessed with like after death uh, sort of settlements mm-hmm. and things mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's his new thing. He's a lawyer. Yeah, and a now, bit I want you to understand this is this is the the whale who played Free Willy. Free Willy is a right, character. Right. Yeah, I and, should separate. And them. it was only in like separate the later the Free Willy movies artist, that he David. got into law, practicing mm-hmm. uh, yeah. like uh, the estate law. Estate law. That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was sure. great. Yeah. So they're gonna have him come back, kind of as a a guest star <laughs> slash mascot for the product. Yeah, that's good. And uh, it'll be like on the box, like a cartoon of of him him flossing his teeth <laughs> with a string of fish bones. Yeah. Which is confusing because the fish sticks specifically don't have fish bones right. in right. them. But like, and that's that just... is what I would think if I ate a fish stick and then there was something hard and white inside <laughs> of it, I'd be like fish bones, but then it would floss my teeth and I'd feel help oh, so clean. And then all of it, wait, it would help me do it or it would do it. You said it, it would, would do well, it. It would go me. in between you your teeth. Promise. But if you you have to eat the fish stick by moving the fish stick back and forth. Mm. Through your uh, teeth. See, this is this is what we mean by holding corporations accountable. We yeah. have to ask these questions. And again, I'm just the idea guy. Like I didn't. Don't 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 be mad at me uh, for this one. Sure. I love floss sticks. This yeah. game is chaos. I know, but <laughs> um, I mean, I. Sometimes when we invent things in this game, I think oh, actually that could be cool. No, this I know. One, no, no. You don't want to eat a floss stick? No, I we need a normal fish stick. Although, like, what <laughs> I'm saying is that like this is the right vibe though, because I think like 50 percent of the time when I hear about some weird new novelty mm. food, I'm like, that's not real. Right? Can't be real. Mm. Chicken inside of a donut can't be real, <laughs> and then it's good. Um. Okay. Should we do one more quick we round? We could do a real quick one, or we could collab. Okay, let's do a collab. And you know what? I'm just going to pick from the list. Oh, my God. Uh, that's what I want to do. Oh. Okay, guys, you ready for this challenge? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're ready. Uh, we've brought our... Uh, we merged our companies yes, merged yes. at SeaWorld and uh, I guess Pepsi. <laughs> we, we're together now. We're Pep yeah. World. Okay, so... This time, there are a, a large amount of Lucky Charms without marshmallows oh, that need to be offloaded. That makes a lot of sense, actually. They need to be contributed, or surplus, they need to good. contribute to something. They have a new deal penned with George Bush Sr., and yeah. they are trying to uh, cash in on the very popular celebration of Christmas in July. <laughs> Christmas in July. What are you going to do? Wow. What is, what is Christmas in July? It's what you want it to be, David. Okay. What, what do you want Christmas in July to be? I guess just like everybody having presents and Christmas trees, but in July. like Yeah. Yeah, like decorating pine trees, because like they're around in July. We can decorate I think them. Christmas in July is a thing because after July 4th, there are no major holidays mm-hmm. until like Halloween. Until Halloween, yeah. Which of course for me means Halloween starts in July. Yeah, sure does. But July for, 5th is when But for those starts. people who love Christmas, <laughs> then they want to have Christmas in July. Yeah, sure. So here's here's what I'm thinking about this product. These are the Lucky Charms without the marshmallows. Yeah, what are those shapes? Um, that's actually what my first question like, was. I was is picturing like, them as the alphabet and I know that's not, not true. They're not the alphabet. And like the, the Lucky Charms are yeah. the marshmallows. Right, yeah. Like they're like and the those clover, are the, ones the that are in the shapes of heart stars diamonds. and horseshoes, clovers and balloons. Blue moons. Some blue moons, yeah. I think. Blue. Not balloons. <laughs> yes, there are fine. balloons, though. I think there are. But they're not in that part of the rhyme. I don't know. What a mystery. Anyway, they're not those. But so the but the actual cereal, I feel like they're like pluses. I think yeah. they're like multiplication symbols. I think if you arrange them all, they make <laughs> equations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, uh, they are as far from marshmallows as possible in that like they're not fun and they represent no fun to repre- kids, which is It represents, um, boring it represents stuff. reason. Mm. You have you have the, the fanciful chaos, nature of yeah. the charms. It represents mm-hmm. faith and reason. Yep, and the, it's it's the classic yeah. dualism. Of- <laughs> Duality of man is represented. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, and I think the thing here's the thing: Lucky Charms yeah. cereal without the marshmallows, yeah. pretty worthless pretty as worthless. a food. Yeah. I am going to say because they are like lightly frosted. I mm-hmm. think they're probably still that we could. could grind these up yeah. to a fine powder and Flour. make it into snow. 
Snow. Because, mm-hmm. like, s- fake snow in July, if it's Perfect. actually cold, is not going to work. You're right. Like, fake snow machines that you use, like, that's, yeah. that still needs it to that, be cold. It needs it to be cold. Yeah, Because, actually, a right. uh, little fact for you, fun Tell fact. Tell me a little fact. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. Classic. Christmas mm-hmm. movie. I know about that. Uh, which I like. Um, they made, the snow was made from like cornflakes. Oh yeah, sure. And I don't, I still don't quite know how that works because adjacent. like, I don't know how they make it fall lightly, but like that's what I've learned from, from my movie trivia IMDB <laughs> research. <laughs> sure. And so I feel like we could take the Lucky Charms yeah. and like make a powder snow. It could be more powdery. Yeah. And you could even romp yeah. in it as, uh, as one George Bush senior always loved to do. <laughs> Man loved a romp. I feel like maybe we could do like a, a It's a Wonderful Life inspired commercial for Bush? with him. Yeah. Not for him. No, for him. With could, him in it. We could we could Mr. Potter him, maybe, I think, is what we could do. Oh, I was thinking he's George <laughs> Bailey. No. I think he, he wakes up and he realizes what the world would be like if he had never been born. Which would be like better. Him and his son would <laughs> like, never have been I couldn't have, cre- I couldn't have done all those war crimes <laughs> if I was never born. Look at how much the world is thriving without American imperialism. But I, think, I feel like he only starts to realize that at the very end of the commercial yeah. and the most of it is just him like f- like frolicking in the snow yeah yeah which would be great yeah throwing little like i think i'm picturing him making snowballs and i don't know why yeah that really pleases me i think this stuff will be the consistency of sawdust yeah so as long have as to, he like, spit into it a I lot or something he's spit yeah <laughs> chew it up <laughs> spit it out love, okay so this commercial <laughs> is a really long take with no music yeah of george bush senior trying to make snowballs <laughs> by spitting into handfuls of it. sawdust spitting and chewing it. on it but not eating it so he can make snowballs and then the end of it is him throwing it at someone at Barbara at at Barbara (laughs) and she dodges it deftly and winks and then like hangs an ornament on the tree and it also like glints winks into the camera and then it and then it's 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 just called uh, charm snow wait do we oh yeah no no, I don't think we should let on that it's lucky charms I think we should yeah you're right you're right I think it should not have lucky charms in the branding yeah yeah because then it's like if they find out what it is it's okay because we're like we said it but like we don't want everyone to know it's cereal yeah yeah like but lucky bad. snow makes you feel like, <laughs> hey, we're snow. so lucky it's lucky, snowing in July. Wow, but yeah. we Do you want to know some interesting things that I just found out while trying to <laughs> Google and figure out what the hell the shapes are? <laughs> yeah, I do want to know. Parts? I definitely want to know that. No one, it doesn't, no one, like, knows. No one really knows. But there are four shapes. And they, some people are saying they're like runes that the leprechaun is using. <laughs> That's probably why you think they're like pluses and minuses. Children. <laughs> but this is what they actually look like. One looks like a Christmas tree. Oh, okay. The other a, looks like, tree, I mean, uh, yeah, a pine tree. tree. The other looks like a plus sign or a cross. Sign, yeah. <laughs> or a cross. So I knew there was a plus or something. Then no, it's there like a is religious symbol. a Jesus fish. Or I guess or a regular a fish, fish, but yeah. it looks like a Jesus fish. And then there's another one that looks like it's maybe a bell or a Bible. These are like Christmassy. <laughs> is it a yeah, Bible? Are they kind of Christmas? Is it yeah. Jesus in the manger? Is that what it is? I don't know. Mary it's and Joseph in an inn. So there's one of them strange. that looks like that. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, they are weirdly Christmassy. That's huh. weird. Yeah. Good job, Lucky Snow. It's like they're rejected marshmallow shapes. <laughs> like they're like, like, yeah, they're like a is. fish. The plus sign to me is like what. At best, that's a cross, and that's no fun. Maybe an X that marks the spot for treasure? I don't know. Because a plus sign is just an X, but tipped a little bit. That's Could all I'm be. saying. So, okay, guys. Yeah, do you have any questions about this clear um, and well, successful product? what is it product? called? Lucky Snow. Lucky Snow. Lucky yeah. Snow. But okay. it's not cocaine. I think I think Bush <laughs> at the end, that, it's like after the words show, Lucky Snow coming to a Menards near you, then it says, it zooms in on George Bush's face, and he whispers to the camera, like, it's not cocaine. Okay. So was this all done before cocaine. he died? No, after. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we used... We used this uh, isn't like t- it's, like how, it's like how Fred Astaire was in that vacuum commercial. Like yeah. He brought him back yeah. by computers. It. Cool. But it's not a computer, though. It's his dead body. Oh, God. <laughs> right. I'm going to wash my hands of this affair. Uh, this you was, took care of that. Uh, part. Far more chaotic than I thought it was going to be, but we did mm. it. And I'm very proud to have been here for the birth of fossil fuel floss <laughs> Fish and Lucky Snow. Floss sticks. Floss sticks. Flosh. <laughs> I think it, they should be called flosh sticks. Flosh. Yeah, flosh sticks. That's just the, that's the uh, technically they can't call it floss because it has to be edible. So they have to mm. brand it as flosh TM. Flosh and, then, and then it's okay. Yeah. Flosh. <laughs> 
right. Well, good job, guys. Good. Thanks. I don't know if good job is the right yeah, word. Job. 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 Hey, job, guys. Job done. You did a job. Okay. Well, thanks for listening. Hey, thank you. Thanks for making so, the game. I'm so yeah. glad that you're here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Me too. I'm glad, he, I'm glad I'm here, and I'm glad that the listeners are here, and that I'm here. I like I'll say that too. I'm it's I'm, it's nice. It's yeah, nice to be here. Yeah. But I'm glad you're listening good. to it, and that's good that that's, that that's happening. Thank you, and uh, I hope that you go get a special novelty food item today. Oh yeah, good call. I don't know what's out there, but there's a lot. Maybe too much. There's like a, a Lote Street Corn flavored Cheeto that I've been questing for all summer. Ooh, that sounds yummy. So right there's in just few- one. No, there's one. It's hidden in a bag of Cheetos. No, it's like a whole brand. I, I've tried to find it, but it seems to be sold out. Well, if you know where to find it, or if you've been stockpiling them to lure a mic to your home, yeah, now is call. the time. Oh 1 800 Cheeto time. Doesn't that sound good, though? It does sound pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I bet it's good. Do we have one last something? One line slogan. I'm going to give you the, the basics, mm-hmm. and you have to yep. just no off the top of your head, asked. no questions asked. Okay. Special ingredient is. Raisins. The spokesperson is Mickey Mouse, and the event is gender reveal. I've got raisins in my pants. Uh, your granola, my gender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with. Is it a mini or a Mickey? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Music by Jaden James and the Hunger. Logo by Christian Hagen. Edited by David Gutchie. If you want more of our hypothetical content, join our Facebook group or like our posts on Twitter or Instagram or give us some stars and review on iTunes or wherever the heck you get your podcasts. The Monopoly Man's name is Rich Uncle Pennybags.